सबसे पहले tell us something about yourself before I'll ask you anything. That's quite a tricky question. Yes, I'm an actor, and my film is already one of my film is already on MX Player, which is called Majma. My next film is coming very soon, which is called It's Abuse Only. And I love traveling. I I'm learning. Very good. I am learning a lot of not a lot of, but. Musical instruments during lockdown. That's the recent one. What else should I tell you? It's इतने साल की ज़िंदगी को दो मिनट में कैसे समेटे? वो वाला है हिसाब. मज़मा मज़मा के बाद में वो what next? मतलब जैसे आपने जिक्र किया मज़मा के बाद कुछ और भी करेंगे. So there are two short films that are coming. Which one is It's Abuse Only, and the second one is Kala Bai from Bai Kala with directed by Shamitra. And uh, there's one more film coming called Mikdar by Atif Khan. So yes, there are lineups for this summer, and then I am starting to shoot another uh, film in, let's say, somewhere around monsoons. It requires a little greenery around. So that's that's what is the recent uh, setup. You can see. Yes. Okay, uh, Kala Bai from Bai Kala. Yeah. You know, the title sounds very interesting. Yes. If you throw some more light on it. Uh, I don't know whether I'm allowed or not. Uh, Sharib Hashmi is uh, playing an artist in that. So you can say, as you see, Kala Bai. So there's Kala and then there's Bai. And then <laughs> she's from Bai Kala. <laughs> I think I can just say this this much. The Bai is played by you. Uh, no, the Bai is not played by me. But I am, yes, playing... Um, yeah, you, actually you can say the Bai is... I am a Bai in that... <laughs> Okay, Sharif Hashmi. How is work, working experience with Sharif Hashmi? Oh, uh, he's. It is already there on the floor, or did the film go on? No, floor? it's it's. We have actually shot it um, just before the lockdown, and I think uh, the post production was happening during the lockdown, and it's just there to come out. Sharif is a very dear friend of mine. Before working with him, I already knew him, so it was easy. You know, when you have friends on set, then it becomes a fun shoot. Okay, what is the most challenging part? As you you mentioned, three four projects which is already there in the pipeline, they'll be very soon. They'll be out. Mm -hmm. Among this, you know, project of which is the most challenging? Uh, the most challenging is its abuse only because it uh, it contains a lot of uh, factors from one's own life and truth which people don't want to talk about. That's why it's more challenging because th because we are talking about it. And uh, when you know that something, a part of society or society as whole don't want to mention it, then it becomes difficult to portray it because you have that doubt, okay, whether I myself will be able to accept it or not. So there was a dilemma, but when you sit with the director, when you read the script, when you go through the uh, rehearsals, then you, you are more sure about it. Say. Is, is abuse also talk about the casting couch in the industry? No, no, no. It's not about uh, industry, any industry. It, it's so about females. It's about uh, no. I would not say it, it's about female because there are two characters and they are from different gender, but they have the same similar kind of pain in their life, which they realize when they accidentally meet. Now we have to see is whether they identify their pain or they just continue living with it and justifying it. That's the whole, uh, I don't know whether, <laughs> whether uh, I'm complicating it or not, but I simply can't tell the story. So yes, that's all about it. It is you know, one, of, one of the most crucial or one of the most difficult role to portray. Yes, something which you don't want to address it, but you have to act it. Yes, it's just difficult. That's right. What message do you want to give to the audience? Speak what for abuse. <laughs> okay, I will say, uh, please don't judge the characters, or maybe try to understand and be, um, be have, have some empathy towards them, because uh, that one thing that they are portraying or they are trying to say is really that one should talk about it. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you so much.